Welcome to the Disabled Team and as you can see from the thumbnail what I call this show, it's um, a bit late, I apologise. Um, it, it's Leeds United are heavily linked with Hoffenheim's forward um, Jorginho Rutter. Um, um, you know, it's come out, in a, 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 it's been put out in all press now that we're really, really heavily linked with this um, player. Um, what do we know about him? I'll be really honest with you guys. I don't watch foreign football. I don't watch because I, because I'm a Leeds United fan. I concentrate on the leagues what Le what Leeds United are in. Now I'm not going to come on here and next summer I'm not and you know knowledge and stuff like that. There's there's people you know good people like Connor out there who does all this sort of an, an analysis and stuff. Um, I, 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 I I'll, I'll confess I haven't watched this video yet. Um, but I will do after this. What I do, what I tend to do when I do a video is do my own, put it up, then I watch other people's because they give it more in-depth details. Whereas this, this is just me um, talking to you guys out there uh, uh, watch us. Um, and I like to go through stories and stuff together. Do you know what I mean? Um, and this is, so I have read the report fully. I've just read the first one, two, three, four lines. Um, the rest of it, I, I, I'm hoping that we, can, you know, we, we'll go through it together. I'll share it. I'll share it on the screen, so you know, so we can, so you, so as I'm reading it, um, you know, I'll give my thoughts, and then hopefully you can leave some comments in down below on your thoughts. That's what I'm going to try and do is and try and get you involved a lot more. Um, and you know, that's what I want this channel to be. Anyway, here we go, guys. Right. So I've got that out of way. So. Let me share screen. Right. Leeds United are incredibly keen on signing Hoffenheim's forward Jorginho Rutter um, with the player reportedly being open to a move. As per a tweet from Sky Sports Germany journalist Florian Plettenberg. The 20-year-old is currently, 20 year old currently has, four goal, has four goal involvements to his name this season, two two goals to assist, and he netted eight times in the Bundesliga last seat, last term. The potential signing is reported to be in the region of forty million euro, thirty five million pound, um, and is described by Plattenberg as a massive deal. Um, Leeds are in dire need of a of, of a forward this January to back up the current first team stri uh, striker Rodrigo due to Patrick Bamford's. Repeated issues with his injury. Well, yep, yeah, I agree with that. Hundred percent agree with that. You know, I really do. Um, Leeds, so, the, the, um, Leeds United wants him now. Often, I'm aware of the interest, and it could become a massive deal. Talks are um, talks around a transfer fee between thirty to forty million euros. The twenty-year-old um, is open to a move. Um, massive development. It is no secret that the new forward this January is on top of Victor Otter's um, list of priorities. So it is great to see the club reportedly doing business in front this on this front early in the window. Um, moreover, Plattenberg is a reputable source as a Sky Sports journalist. So uh, this is more likely. Uh, this is. More than likely that the deal does um does have legs. Well, I hope so because we need the striker. More surprisingly, the deal um, about the deal it suggests that the fee with the thirty five million pound, seemingly a great amount for such a young prospect, with a respectable yet not astonishing goal return in the last couple of seasons, 
Given that the club were allegedly ready to spend a similar amount on Charles de Catelet last summer, however, the fact that they um, have so much funds at their disposal, it, it's maybe no, not as surprising as initially thought. Could really could prove to be the forward that the white supporters have been crying out for for so long. Um, if we're gonna go on his um, if we're gonna go on his um, numbers. You know his his numbers from um, last season and this season. It's a it's a gamble to pay. Um, can you put him in Charles de Catalay's category? I don't think you can. Not yet. Could he become that player? Absolutely. Um, you know. So we have to wait and see. Um, that's all, that's the end of that story. Now I want our book at some transfer market player profile with you. Right, so it's, according to this, the last day update on the 9th of November 2022, value him uh, at 60, um, 16 million. Um, his main position is centre forward. As you can see here, his, um, his current market value has been rising and rising and rising. So he's going in the right direction. Um, he's 20 year old, um, born in France. Um, he's left footed um, he, he, he's played at Rennes which is which is a pretty good um, background in it Rennes is a good team to um, play at he, 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 so he played in, in the under 19s the under 17s um, Rennes B team so he's worked his way up the rank he's climbed his way up the ladder which, which is do you know something I think that's a really good thing because if you start, if you start climbing that ladder slowly, as you're climbing that ladder, you're learning more and more things. So I think it's going to be a really, really good move for um for Leeds if you know if we can get him. Um, the thirty-five million pound worries me a little bit, but that you pay for, you, you you know that's the going rate for a striker, isn't it? Especially in Premier League, you know what I mean. So yes, um, I'd be really happy with this. Andre Radzani met this happen. Victor Orta, go butter him up, um, wine him, dine him, you know, do what you can move him. Just, just get this deal over the line um, because we badly need it. We really do. We badly need it, guys. Um, you know, and I think, I think if we can get it over the line, all it's all brilliant. It'd be a good. It'd be a really good move. So yeah, anyway, let us know what you think, let us know if you've enjoyed this one, um, if you think it's going to happen, um, you know, the worry I have, the worry I have when these stories come out is, this is what I worry about, other clubs um, start looking and get interested, you know, how many times have you seen the thumbnails on YouTube saying, um, Chelsea hijacked this player, Arsenal hijacked a player, um, Man United hijacked a player. Do you know what I mean? And it happens. So if we're going to make this happen, we've got to make it happen soon, quick, fast. Um, no, don't, don't, don't spend all summer negotiating fee. Let's just get it done. Get him into Leeds United. Get him ready in um, for the second half of the season because boy oh boy do we need a striker. Because like I mean I I did um, I did a show I did a show on um, on extra time and I just I briefly discussed seventeen points in seventeen games guys that's touch and go whether you're going to get relegated or not bringing a striker I think I think we've got a real really good chance of climbing the table don't bring in a striker I think we're in for a difficult second half of the season anyway right guys I'm going to leave it there um I'm be back doing a watch on um. This afternoon, I'll be on at 1.45. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching this edition of Disabled Team. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I really do. Sorry it's late and delayed. I, did, I didn't feel great last yesterday. So, uh, as pe people who know me know that know me conditions and stuff. And um, it just took it out of me again. I, I just felt drained a bit last night. I was in bed by, I think it was about... Quarter, about quarter past seven or something daft. I went to bed really early then, but then I woke up at midnight and then I've been up since. So 
Anyway, look, I'm going to leave it there. You don't want to hear about my life story. Let, right, so get your comments in. Um, let us know what you think. And enjoy the rest of your day. Um, if, if you're going to be watching, whenever you're watching Leeds for your Cardiff game, let's hope this can get a result. Until And until next time, guys, It's a good, thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching the disabled scene. And it's a goodbye from me. Take it easy, guys. Take care.